Well, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu, welcome back to another video. So Chantal went live, and, and it's called Thailand Coffee, not even the bees, wow, we're not even bees at this point. Um, So apparently I heard on Twitter before we get started that Saw's just like modding in the hotel room, which... Which I find so weird, like, why wouldn't you want to be with your wife? I mean, unless she wanted to go down by herself, true, but... For someone that's like, where's your man? Oh, where's your marriage? Where's your, you know, X, Y, Z, uh, you know, everything. But I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? You're the first. And I cannot believe I almost forgot to speed her up. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> Look what they did to my mocha. Ooh! Wow, Nicolina! I'm alone right now, Jeff, yeah. It's 3 a.m. busy, I know, sorry guys, but like my times where I can go live are weird. Sometimes. I'm sorry, what? The, the times that you can go live is weird? Are, are you on like some sort of schedule or something? Girl! You don't have a job. What, what sort of like limitations are you having to wear? Like, yeah, guys, I can't go live. My schedule is we girl what, for doing what? We haven't seen an uh, edited video in a while. Of you going out. Maybe a mukbang video, sure, but like you can do that at any time. Okay, that's very weird. Hi, I'm Hey, come on, I can't put bees in my titles anymore. I'm not sure. I think they like fly beezing, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just being careful. Oh. Hmm. Don't know why. Me oh, because they limit um they limit ads if you use certain titles and things. Okay. Because I, I couldn't use like Lust for Life in the title the other day. Like, she did a thing called Lust for Life, and I couldn't title it Lust for Life, so I had to, like, edit it. was very rude and disrespectful, but, you know, we're here, so it's... <laughs> I love that for her, the man. <laughs> it's, just... it's only 7 p.m. there. I'm, like, alone in this entire cafe. I'm at a, like, popular um, coffee chain here. Um, it's kind of like a Starbucks, and I thought I would try it. There's, like, one on every corner. <laughs> I have a mocha, like it's a nice design with the, the, the foam and a like chocolate sauce in it and the coffee flavor is amazing. Why am I alone, Candy? Um, well someone's gonna meet up with me after. Mm-hmm. After what? Shanta, where is he going? Where are you at? Where is he at? I have so many questions. Hmm. Very interesting. And, uh, I don't know. Sometimes we just we don't we don't do things alone very often. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go for a coffee and uh, yeah, it's a lot at the hotel right now. There are motorcycles moving around every five seconds, but the atmosphere is really like alive and electric. I really like it. It's alive and electric, guys, but there's nobody here. But, like, it's so electric and so alive. Where's your vibe? Where's your alive and electric coffee place? Hmm? <laughs> Shut up. Stop it. I like it. Sometimes it's just nice doing things, you know, just going out for, like, getting your space from, you know, like... We don't have to be together 24 7 which we are true but like chantal you've been selling us uh slaw for a while now and then you guys are so in love you guys do everything together and you're together 24 7 but now all of a sudden no guys we're not together 24 7 we need our space mm -hmm. and also what is he doing where did he go again i'm very interested mostly i'd say 26 7 so <laughs> i'm not we're not sick of each other or anything it's just Nobody said that. <laughs> Nobody said that you were sick. <laughs> I, there's also the fact that I, the live replay chat's not available, so I can't check and see if anyone said that. Um, yeah, Chantal, no one, I'm assuming, no one said that. If I want to go for a coffee and he wants to stay in the room, there's no problem with that. I wanted to go for a little walk. Getting back into it. I gotta really pump out some good content for you guys. You can hear me very well? Okay, good. Hi, Anissa. Do I plan, plan on buying any clothes? Dixie? I don't think so. Um, I was looking, but I don't know. I, I might visit some plus-size stores. Apparently, they're very funny here. I know it's like the names of the stores are very funny, apparently. Like, they like don't hide the fact that they're plus-size clothes. Like, 
fat in the title and stuff. I gotta go check it out. Lizzie, it's really, really, really good. Like, what's the flavor? Like, what kind of coffee is it? You know, well, we know that it's coffee flavor with, like, chocolate syrup in it, but, like, girl, gotta give us more than that. Come on. Oh, well, this is compostable, so yeah, they're woke. <laughs> what? Did I it's close, like, hear that right? Fat in the title and stuff. I gotta go check it out. Lizzie, it's really, really, really good. Oh, this is compostable, so yeah, they're woke. Why? Being like green and wanting to do I, I so many questions and I will never get a legitimate honest to God answer so I'm just gonna press play because like what does wanting to be green and do better for the earth have anything to do with that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Environmentally friendly. No, it's um it's a really delicious coffee. Jessica Am I going home to my baby soon? Yeah, soon enough. Um, I have some content I want to do here before I leave for sure. We have some. Again, I and then we. I have some content. No, no way. We have some content that we want to film before we leave. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um, it sometimes pays off to read in between the lines on some things. You know, when I got here, I was like, we were banging out the video, sanctuary, whatever. But now, like, I'm kind of taking a breather. Just enjoying more local things. Kazakhstan yeah, but that, that's what happens whenever you go to two attractions per day. I would probably be, like, tired, too. Like, were you expecting to be like, oh my gosh, yeah, 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 no. No, 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 like, maybe one, maybe one per day, because that, that I would be burned out, too. I, I don't blame her for that. It's in Central Asia. Oh, potato face. <laughs> Baby can use all of the emojis now tropical storm honestly with monsoon if you do not like rain every day don't come here in monsoon season it's like um okay it's actually cloudy right now it usually starts thunderstorming around three or four um the whole night the whole day after that like the constant like lightning is like a normal thing for us now like, look, look out the window and lightning sh uh, show and like constant thunder, heavy rain, all night, all night. It rains every single day. And that is why you should do some Googling of places you want to visit before you're going there, so that way you can see and plan around if it's monsoon season or not. Okay, great. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about monsoon season. It's so rainy. Girl, that seems like a personal problem. If, if the rain outside is the biggest, like, thing, like, the biggest, like, absolute heartbreaking reality of my day, I'm doing okay. Every day. When I finished my walking live last night at the park, the rain started so strong. <laughs> You're always getting, you, it's perfect for us because we come from Kuwait, right? I've lived there for a while now, I've been there for a while. She's acting like she's been there for like five years, like three, four, five years. I've been there for a while now, guy. Man, it's been like what? I would say like seven months continuously. Like she went there for, I don't know, like a month, three, three weeks, a month, and then came back. And then, right? She's acting like, yeah, I've been there for a while, guys. I wouldn't call like, say, seven, eight months a long time. Like it's almost a year. And then on top of that, primarily you've been inside of your apartment building, not really experiencing anything other than like four walls and the air conditioner with copious amounts of food. So yeah, it's questionable at best, Chantal. That's, that's all I'm going to say. And like, it's desert. And in the summer, the amount of rain, I don't even think it's rained maybe like once. I don't even remember, remember the last time it's rained in Kuwait. Yeah. <clears throat> And it's still in the 40s there right now. So I'm actually like, um, you know, the longer trip for us was big part of it was escaping that heat is intense. Like, I keep my suffering to myself a lot, but I was suffering. Okay, so the reason why we've been here for so long is to escape the Kuwaiti heat. It could be true. It could be some other bull reason that we don't know. It's Chantal. What's number one rule of Chantal? If you know, you know. I'm having a debate with my partner. Shrimp is halal. Ariel, uh, there's some scholars that say that all things from the sea are halal. Um, some say no. 
but I eat it. I eat seafood. They serve it in Kuwait, so to me, it's an Islamic country, so, you know. I, okay, if you're in a situation where you don't have much halal food around you, just try to avoid, like, as much as you can. Like, I would start with seafood, and then non-halal meat, and never pork. Like, if you have no halal options around you, you have to eat. That's how it kind of goes. I'm very interested to hear from the like Muslim like reactors see what they think about that cuz I'm I don't know but I'm very interested. I just came back from Japan and there's literally everything with pork. I know no way no vegetarian options. I guess plain rice with seaweed or something. <laughs> For me, I would love to go to Japan, but I would I think more I want to go to Korea. I love Korean food more, I think. No, it's not the fact that, like, you want to go do other stuff and see other things. No, it's because that you like Korean food more. Chantal, name one Korean food. One thing. I'll wait. Now, to be fair, I also don't really know Korean food, but, like, come on. Well, I also can say that I want to go to, like, Japan because I'm a really big nerd. I'm actually, you know what? There we go. I won't put the whole thing, but like, that is the Cosmic Heart Compact from Sailor Moon Season 3 from the original anime series. Highly recommend, but like, I would just buy everything Sailor Moon and any sort of anime that I would like. That would be something I would want to go do, but like, <laughs> or at least like a small portion, not just, you know, I just because I like J Japanese food more than Korea, it's, I'm going to go to Japan. <laughs> Okay. Kimchi, they have a lot of stuff I love. Kimchi fried rice, I could go for that right now. I want to try to make kimchi. I don't know. I really want to get, I'm craving to cook. I'm in the mood. My kitchen is spotless. I cleaned it before I came here. I, I'm so happy I did that because I was like, do I want to deep clean or not deep clean and just worry about it when I come back? Because surely there'll be a layer of dust when we come back. We were planning to be away for a while. You know, honestly, Thailand is just affordable. Also, it's just, like I said, getting away from the intense heat of Kuwait. Yeah. It's affordable, yet you guys have made multiple, like, indications that, like, money's tight, and the fact that you guys keep moving around different sort of, like, motels and hotels, it's very weird. It's very, very, very odd, the way that you guys have been acting. So, okay. Oh, d I'm so stupid. It's because payday happened. That's why everything's so affordable and like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm having coffee. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Payday happened. I don't know what. I don't know what sort of like the Lululand I was in for a minute. I forgot. I forgot that we got paid. Went to a cafe around here. Stopped at a cafe. Thought I'm gonna go live. Oh <laughs> really um, yeah. No. No. I. I. No. Mm. -mm. It's been boring, but no. Like, it's just so, I don't know. You experience the world. It's, it's amazing. I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, why did I jump here of all places, guys? I can't just see the world. I've dubbed the world traveler voice Ashley because the Sarahs were not happy when I called her Sarah. I'm sorry, Sarahs. I feel like it's, it's very Ashley behavior, just like, yeah, guys, I have to see the world. <laughs> and to any of the Ashleys out there, girl, I'm sorry. There's always motorcycles, too. That seems to be the main mode of transportation here is motorcycles. L like, I'm looking out the window, like, the streets are narrow, narrow side streets, okay? There's, like, a main street in every area, then there's, like, all little, out they're, like, the size of alleys. And... I don't know, they just, you just, sometimes within a hair, like, like we saw a, a motorbike, like, hit a woman in the shoulder, and she just was like, whatever, that's normal, like, it's really, <laughs> I'm honestly afraid to get hit sometimes, because I take up, like, I'm like, I'm taking up too much space on the road here, so I'm very wet, extremely strong rain, yeah, hi Alice, it's pouring, Girl, how many more times are you going to hold that cup up? I've probably edited out a bunch of them. It's just like, cup, 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 swish, swish, cup, swish. Girl, stop it. Jesus Christ. I, no, I don't know. No. <laughs> I've been watching. I stayed up way too late last night. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be editing. But I'm addicted to watching short horror films on YouTube. 
Oh my gosh, like who needs to watch a full hall? I can't even focus. <laughs> I'm really excited. Ding dong! I'm really addicted to watching these things on you. Ding dong! And it's like a short horror. Ding dong! <laughs> Can't even concentrate on what she's saying. Just ding dong. <laughs> really with horror movie anymore. Like there's so many good talented uh, unknown movie makers out there. You should just search award-winning horror shorts. So many creepy ones. I was creeped out. Come to Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam would be so cool too. Yeah, I would like to go there as well. Do it, do it, do it, do it. They are very straightforward from what I hear. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Go into more shops there. Yes, we will explore the world just step by step. Step by step, baby, baby. Yes, babe. I really want to explore the world. I love it. Actually, yeah, guys, we're exploring the world in this coffee shop when it's raining outside and my man is somewhere. I don't know where he is whenever he's done with whatever he's doing. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's exploring the world. <laughs> Actually, calm down, girl. <laughs> Getting used to traveling. Like at first, when I when was it? Like, but, okay, I kind of got over my fear of traveling after Cuba. You know, because I was like not on a plane. That was like my major major source of anxiety. And there's ways that you can cope with that. So now that I'm more used to it, I'm drinking an iced mocha. Yes. I bet you like haters were actually like. I bet you Fruity Beauty is jealous of the fountain lady. She's more good looking than Foodie Beauty. I bet she's the one going to leave her leave Foodie Beauty for the fountain. <laughs> the fountain lady's waist is snatched. I mean, the fact that you know that people have been saying that, Chantal, kind of makes me believe that you may or may not be watching us. Why are you so obsessed with me? Hmm. Oh, where's your fountain lady? Where's your man? <laughs> I mean, he could be there right now. Who knows? We don't know. <laughs> Any advice for starting YouTube? Oh my gosh. YouTube has changed. Don't be a clown on the internet. Go to the doctor. Uh, don't ignore diabetes. And um, don't quit your day job. You're welcome. So much even since I started. I don't know what to say. I think the key to being a successful YouTuber, obviously, is... Well, Chantal, whenever you become, um, you know, successful, let us know, I guess. <laughs> Stay out of any drama, and... Unless you're a drama channel. And be consistent and, like, just pump up content. I don't know, my channel's pretty much... It's been sitting at the same amount of subscribers for a long time. Which is a good amount for me, so... I don't know. Which are the majority of them are dead. You haven't been going up very much, Chantal. Like, whatever you're doing here with, like, travel stuff and this and that. Yeah, yeah. It's not bringing in new people. Your views are as low as they've ever been, girl. Even, like, the more bearable videos are bad. Just learn how to edit, get a gimbal for God's sake. Just something. Anything at this point. <laughs> and get rid of the microphones. You don't need the microphone. Prepare for drama. <laughs> yeah, there might be some. The more known you are, the more there's potential for drama, for sure. Even if there's no drama, really. You're just living your life. <laughs> don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. I think it's human nature to be jealous and envious, you know, obviously. You can't say that you've never been envious of somebody else. But the key to happiness is you never compare it. <laughs> I don't even know what she's gonna say, but she's really gonna be out here in a coffee shop. Where's your coffee shop? Where's your man? Where's your ring? Where's your yada yada yada? Be here. Well, the key to happiness is not told if you find it, let us know. Like just focusing on your own journey, what your own blessings, you know? Not everyone is blessed with the same things. I was actually I watched a really good short movie last night. It was called The Neighbor's Window. And spoiler alert, but basically, this couple who had kids and like a normal family, but they, you know, they're, they're, the love life wasn't exciting as much anymore. The woman was pregnant, um, and she was. They were watching. The, this, the, the neighbors across from them were, you know, having intimate moments, very exciting intimate moments, and they were like seeing this, and they became addicted to watching this couple's life. They thought it was exciting and everything. And then come to find out at the end, that couple were watching them in return, envious of their family life because they couldn't have children. So it's like, it was like really a really good movie, like making you think like, just be happy with what you were blessed with and what you, what you weren't, don't worry about it, you know? 
Yeah, babe, I hope you guys all get the opportunity to travel with you. That's what you want to do. Not everybody wants to, you know, and that's fine. Whatever your idea of happiness is. Okay, Chantal, I'll keep you to that. Do whatever it is that you, that you want to do or whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whenever you go, like, where's your channel? Where's your man? Where's your vlogs? Where, where's your XYZ? I don't want to. Okay, I'll, I'll keep you to that. You do that then, Shannon. Exactly, I think that's the perfect attitude. Uh-oh. You have happinesses. Yeah, I hope you get to do that then, Shannon. Exactly, I think that's the perfect... I, I can't really pause it, but like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chantal, why is your rage pinky up all of a sudden? Uh-oh. Speaking facts. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I learned that when I converted, reverted to Islam. Oh, really? Now, I'm pretty sure that we've gotten multitude of rages and everything since you've reverted, but... Okay, Chantal. We believe you, Chantal. You never lie, Chantal. Of course not, Chantal. Mm-hmm. Honestly, getting stuck in the rain on the tuk-tuk was nice. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, because your face really screamed, I'm having so much fun and not regretting every single life decision up until this very point now, and I'm soaking wet and I'm scared and that's this tuk-tuk's going really fast and, you know, my man's recording. Yeah, no, no, of course not. No, no, no. <laughs> sure. Yeah, blue velvet. Did you roll down the No, I have to roll down the hill in my abaya. Who remember what was behind the blue window? <laughs> that weird orthopedic Robaxa set hand. Yeah, Chantal, it was a model hand for when you draw, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? Right? Like, isn't that a thing that, like, artists use to, like, if, to get a hand in a certain position for them to draw it or something, right? Pretty. It was made out of what? It looked like one of those itty-bitty tiny little... Like, postable figure, like men, like, same concept, but instead it's just a hand, so, I, I don't know. So this coffee was 75 baht, which is 750 fills, which is maybe a dollar or something. Babe, you look handsome in every way. Hey, no. 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 Hmm, actually, I thought a hamster backpack. It's a little, it's a little purse or something. Put your your hamster. Chantal, please, you little god, don't do that, please. Just no. I, the hamster's good. Just no. Sorry, I don't particularly vax. No. No vaccines. I couldn't imagine like how hard it would be to travel during like when COVID was first out. Well, Chantal, I'm pretty sure, like, weren't you going back and forth to a certain snow sniffer that we know and, like, gallivanting all around, you know, Canada whenever the lockdowns were happening, right? I'm pretty sure, allegedly, it could be wrong. It was a little bit before my time. I, I came in around, I think, December 2021 is when I came around. It was just like, okay, let's see what Chantal's doing because Amber's so boring. But, yeah, like, I... Just because you weren't, you know, on an airplane or something, you did quite a bit of traveling for the time, girl. Come on. Chantal's Cheeto does. Let me see the. <laughs> the shirt looks like the placemat. Honestly, the ducks. Who puts in placemats? Honestly, the placemats were one of my favorite things there because they. Were... I agree. Those placemats were really cute. Reminded me of like. I don't know, like my old grandma's old kitchen table or something. I love this shirt. I wear it all the time. I could just see yeah, it. because for some reason you only pack like three or four shirts and you only wear like two or three of them. It's very odd. I don't know why you guys pack so light and then your things for so long, but choices were made and not super great ones, you know, personally. Backpack with hamster on your back and backpack with cat in front, yeah. One of those like, I don't know, Julia would freak out. Cats don't like being contained like in cages for very long. <clears throat> I don't know how we would do that. I don't know. I feel like it's like bad. Like pets don't like to travel far distances, you know. That's why I didn't bring. Major reason I didn't bring my cats here. My mom has a. I don't know. I feel like it's like bad. Like pets don't like to travel far distances, you know. That's why I didn't bring. Major reason I didn't bring my cats here. Um, ma'am, you're in Thailand, and you only have one cat. It's probably from when she had two cats for so many years, and now she only has one, so I'm not gonna... 
you know, harp on her for that. But like, you're in Thailand currently, man. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean here? You're not. You're not in Kuwait right now. Are you okay? I'm surprised he liked it so much, but it is pretty great. Most people like it. Yeah, because his initial reaction was super reliable and super relatable and super real, guys. Yeah, <laughs> sure, okay. It's very good. I mean, it's greasy, salty, cheesy. It's not to like. You're gonna order two plates for me only. Yeah, they're not big enough. That's the only thing. Like, if you want to just, like, pig out and put in, you need a bigger size. For people who are really hungry, you need two. Maybe one I mean, is this like your portions or like, you know, smaller people portions? Because that was a pretty good, like, serving of fries and poutine, if you ask me. Maybe we could get one each and then split one big with extra cheese. Can I put an extra 50 grams of cheese? A fruit mocha? Yeah. There's like a whole bunch of fruit carts here, but that's the most common thing. Fruit carts and then people grilling like meat on a stick. You love to put in. Uh, you're gonna love, like, honestly. If we ever go to Canada, I want to take you to Quebec. I'm, I'm sorry now, what was that sentence? Sick. I love the kids in. Uh, you're gonna love, like, honesty. If we ever go to Canada, I want- You're going to love, and then automatically goes, if we go to Can- <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I thought that he didn't want to go to Canada, though, Chantal. Why the sudden change of heart now? Hmm, very, very weird how you would correct yourself that fast. Hmm. I want to take you to Quebec Poutine, it's the best. That's why I got excited when I saw the Poutine place here, it had a Quebec flag. I'm craving pasta is so bad. I don't like to eat the same kind of food every day. Says the woman that ate paneer for like a, I don't, know, I don't even remember how long it was, but it was a good chunk of like time that she ordered nothing but paneer, paneer, paneer every single day. Like maybe for like two meals a day or something, it was wild. What is this? Oh, I thought it was chin hair. Imagine, I used to have a babysitter who had a chin hair this long. I'm not even kidding, it was a spider one. It was like, a, she had a mole and a spider hair like this long. Like, I don't know how she, that doesn't bug her. Like, hey, I'm not gonna look shame her for having a hairy mole, that's fine. I have hairy chin. Like, I was babysitting after school, the guy picked me up to babysit his bratty kid. His kid was a brat, by the way. Was he, though? Because that's from the lens of Chantal, so... She was also talking about, like, her babysitter that had, like, a mole and, like, a long hair. It wasn't, been, it wasn't super interesting. You didn't miss much. Anyway, I had to, like, read to this kid all night for to keep him calm. So whenever the kid... Oh, no. Chantal, you have to baby... <laughs> You have to babysit the the kid that you're babysitting. Oh gosh darn it, you have to read. Oh no. <laughs> I finally went to bed. I wanted, I was starving, okay? I was starving, like I was so hungry since after school. Normally when I get home, I eat like, my, I, my, my mom has my dinner ready. So, I found out that this guy had nothing in his house, no food. But he had a really nice posh condominium, like really, he's a business owner. And he had no food, like... Chantal, are we really having issues and drama and beef with something that happened, like, a good 25 years ago from a man that you babysat their kid with them not having any food at their place? Are we really doing that right now? <laughs> um, okay, I guess we have beef with the man that you babysat their kid with, like, 20, 25 years ago. Okay. So I made a box of craft dinner, and he freaked out on me, like, well, I could tell he was displeased. Like... Well, yeah, obviously, Chantal, you, like, ate their food. And something that's, like, probably for multiple people, and you more than likely ate all of it? Yeah, I would... I'm assuming, just based off Chantal? Yeah, I, oh, okay. I was hungry. <laughs> you know, anyway. What do you eat, sandpaper? So then, yeah, I never babysat for him again. <laughs> or were you never allowed back over? Just judging you from that one story, yeah, I, I don't blame them for not wanting you back. <laughs> to me, doing that is wrong because the kids, they look shocked. And that shocked look, it's like when I was young, my dad taught me how to swim, dumping me in the deep end of a pool. I'll never, I don't, I lost trust in him. I remember that. I remember it. Like, 
you are breaking trust, a trust bond with your kid when you do that, they are always going to think that you could potentially surprise them with something that, that scares them, you know? Like, to me, that's not right to do. I don't know. So, we went from, like, a story time to, like, a therapy office. I... The whiplash that we just went through? Jesus Christ. Hi, Mike. Hi. Yeah, it's going to cause some kind of, like, distrust between you and your kid if you do that, in my opinion. But... If you crack the egg over the head for some TikTok walls. Anyway. So. Yeah, I think I didn't like. Like, I couldn't believe that for a long time that my dad would do that. Like, just throw me in a pool. But, like, you hear parents hear these, like, weird wives' tales of, like, methods of getting your kids over things. And I guess teaching our kid how to swim, he believed that you just chuck them in the pool. I mean, yeah, I guess if it's swim or die, but you could have a more gentler approach, like, how about, how about, you know, teaching me how to swim? I don't know, swimming lessons? I don't know. <clears throat> Babe, did you really like the pretend? I think you did. You wanted another one. So I think you're really sick. I love the sounds of coffee making. <sighs> love it. I have a feeling like if he wanted another one, we would have heard about that and she would brand like, Guys, my man wanted another Putin. <laughs> I feel like we would have heard about that before now, right? I have a feeling that we probably would have. Yeah, no, I'm okay. I feel alright to go out just for a small walk, you know? Because like, even though I'm out of shape and people think that I'm not, I'm not. You're on the verge of it, though. I hate to say that and be morbid, but like Chantal, have you seen yourself? It's it's not. We're not just pulling that out of our our butts for no reason, girl. Come on. But uh, it depends on the weather conditions. It depends on my anxiety level. Otherwise, I can push myself to walk some. And you know what? I just sit down if I have to in between. But sometimes I don't like to get cabin fever. I don't like being in the hotel. Like after being in there for a couple of days, like a few days, I just want to like come up and walk. You know. For a little bit longer yet, Rebecca. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer yet. We planned a longer trip this time, mostly, um... I'm sorry, you what now? You planned it longer this time? Hmm. Was that a slip? Very interesting. One of the major reasons, honestly, just like waiting out the quick summer, it's very intense. Like, if you can imagine 50 degrees, you know? So it's quality of life here. <laughs> The weather, you know? Gotta come to the US again? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, guys. I think I'm gonna get off now. I just want to have a quick coffee, bees. Okay, let's see if there's anything more worth talking about. That's good, Tiffany. I'm glad you don't love Disney. Hi, guys. I mean, yeah, this was fun. I just, ugh, I'm so over the live stream. It's just daily live stream, live stream. Let's talk about nothing in live stream, guys. Yeah. Oh, God. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Very much appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.